Good morning. My last few days in Houston, usually I go to a place, I have a checklist of places I really, really want to go to. And then the last few days, it's usually my favorite because I have no idea where I want to go. I have no idea what I want to eat. So I think today, just walk around Chinatown and see what I can find. And before we leave, breakfast. Leftover burger with a freshly fried egg. <laughs> I don't want to brag, but I think I make some of the best fried eggs. Oh, and also hot pot poached steaks. I don't know how many of you guys do this. My mom, when she makes my fried eggs, makes the sides really, really crispy. And it's basically not runny at all. I like a little runny. Anyway, big shout out and thank you to the sponsor of this video, Misen. You guys know I featured the knife in the previous video. Today, let me show you this pan. And guys, I love this pan. If you don't know what Misen is, their mission is to inspire and enable great cooking, and they offer premium kitchen tools at affordable prices. So this pan, the reason I really like it, really nice, comfortable grip, good weight. They sent me one, which I've been using in New York. Then I went and bought another one for my home in Texas. And I just keep it in the back of my car because I'm going to a lot of Airbnbs. Having your own pan is just nice. So the Misen nonstick pan has a unique plasma primer. And what that does is it helps their nonstick coating last longer. And this is something that cheaper nonstick pans do not use. Something else I noticed, pan heats super evenly. And they choose to use a PFOA free three layer DuPont platinum coating. Basically meaning nothing's gonna stick to it. Like you see the egg, I, I love cooking eggs on this. Doesn't stick. Also the coating is DuPont's most scratch and abrasion resistant nonstick coating. So it's gonna look nice for a while. This thing I'm using is a 10 inch skillet and it has 19% more cooking area than the other premium brands. That means you get more space, you can put more food, you can have the food social distance each other. And this might be my favorite part. You can use it on gas, electric, you can even pop that sucker into the oven. Like I always say guys, if I don't love a product, I'm never gonna tell you about it. This this is a really nice pan. So if you want to give it a try, go to the link down below. Use my promo code Mikey Chen. You'll get 20% off. All right, I'm going to finish my eggy burger and uh, we'll go eat some more. Good morning. Y'all ready to get another food day started? Let's do this. It starts right here. Beifang mian shi. So northern dough food items is the literal translation. Oh, that looks like home right there. Ooh, this burger looks good. So this place is uh, very obviously mom and pop run and um, been open for about a couple years. I don't know how many people really know about this place, but first glance, that's a delicious looking pork burger. This looks good. Packed with meat and cilantro and scallions soaked into this really thin dough on the outside. Of course, when you get something like this, you got to get the liang pi, and they give you a lot. Gluten on top, sesame sauce, some sprouts and cucumbers, and on the bottom, here we go. Oh yeah. And they said to add the chilies myself, so just gonna add a little bit. How pretty does that look? I am so hungry right now. The lampi has great flavor. It's a little more tender and soft than what I'm typically used to, but still has a really nice texture. The pork in here is so tender though. Tremendously tender, outrageously juicy. This is really good. I was having a crazy morning. It's about noon right now. I haven't had anything to eat, so I've been kind of hangry for a while. Just walking around. <sighs> Go accomplished. Craving satisfied. And they actually brought over a fried dough. And we're eating this. Oh, that is nice. That feels good. Most people don't know, but when you eat this, you split this in half. <sighs> Whew. Now you got two. Dip in, you got to dip in the soy sauce. Did I just say soy sauce? This and the soy milk is utter perfection. I think I like it even more than the lamb pee. The Yotel, perfectly airy, light, soaks up that soy milk incredibly well. And it still retains a nice bit of crunchiness. 
even after all that soaking. Mm. Soy milk is delicious and light, slightly sweet. This is one of the favorite combos for Chinese people. Some really, really nicely made yotel and soy milk. And I haven't had this in a long, long time. I want to get a word, dumplings too. They got dill dumplings. If you ever see dill dumplings on the menu, you get dill dumplings. Like, I love chive dumplings. I think dill dumplings are better. It's got a much better aroma. Mm. Dumplings really good. Definitely get the dill dumplings. Wow. And these are not even the, the freshly made ones because they, they just got out of vacation. So they haven't had time to make fresh dumplings. Even the frozen ones, delicious. Mmm. Dill dumplings, I'm telling you guys. Usually you do chives. I love chives. Try the dill. There's a reason the word dill in Chinese just basically means just kind of like the, the, the fragrance, the aroma coming back to you once again. Kind of what it means, hui xiang. It was just thunderstorming. Oh, oh, it's humid outside. I think it's almost monsoon season here in Texas. At my new Airbnb for tonight in Houston, Texas, and uh, I was actually done filming today. I had the noodles and dumpling this morning, and had tons of work to do on my laptop. So I just figured, just go to the Airbnb, do some work, take it easy, not film anything tonight, and just you know, eat something light. I was like googling salads around here. By the way. Can't find a salad place. So the area I'm at here right now is called Katy, Texas. I think it's supposed to be a big a Asian area. So right now this segment is gonna be like a very impromptu segment about what I eat when I'm not filming. I wasn't planning on filming this, I was not. This was just dinner. Let me show you what I got. And I think I might have a problem. So I, I saw a Vietnamese place. I think it's called Little V. Vietnamese place is really popular around this area. Uh, and then I went over there and then I saw a dumpling place next door. So I got two soy milks. I've got a box of their buns. Dumpling. Ooh, these are cute. Look at these. Cute little, cute little dumplings right there. Oh, this is heavy. What is this? I <laughs> actually forgot what I got. What? in the world is this? Oh! I have no idea what this is because uh, this is not what I ordered. I think they might have given me the wrong thing. I ordered a side dish. What is, look at, look how oily this is and spicy. Okay, so it got pres preserved vegetables, ground meat, and tofu on the bottom. What? This is 100% not on what I intended to order, uh, but I got it. And I got Xiaomi or millet congee. This has always been a favorite of mine and it has pumpkin in here. You know, honestly, I, I know, what I should have just done was just get some congee and some buns and call it a day. Didn't really need this. This is heavy. This is about at least a pound and a half of food right here. Oh, but we're not done. So what I ordered from the Vietnamese place. So I ordered a pho, regular pho with no meats. I just wanted a soup because I, you know I wanted something light. Then I got this. Okay, this is fried artichokes. This looks good. Finally, this is the chopped beef with vermicelli noodles. It went from a relaxing night with something light to eat to this. So, oh, buns look good, huh? It's not bad. I wish there was more filling to this, but it's nice and fluffy. Where's this from? This place is called Bao Shi, like Bunny 11. And I don't have any hot oil to dip this in, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dip it into this. I think this whole thing is just <clears throat> tofu. It's a tofu soup with a bunch of meat. That's delicious. Needs a little vinegar, but that's delicious. I'm just trying to dig deep. Is this whole thing tofu? Yep, this whole thing is tofu. Look at that. 
and it's pretty good tofu. So soft and silky. Kanji is good. This place looks like a really popular Vietnamese food chain. Butter oh, so good. So good. Wow. This is roasted so well. A little spicy. I think they marinated this in a little bit of soy sauce too. That's absolutely delicious. The shaken beef, of course, comes with a fish sauce. I'm just gonna pour this over. And then chase it with some broth. It's really good for broth. I still think pho fix is the best pho I had in Houston, but this is delicious. So yeah, this is basically what I eat when I'm not eating. I usually will go somewhere over water and then just slowly eat my night away. And entertainment is gonna be... Use for my talent, a Chinese drama about a hardworking girl and a super germaphobe CEO of a cleaning company. It's cute. I like it. All right, I I'm gonna get back to my evening. See you in the morning. Happy Saturday morning. One thing that truly sets Houston apart is all the traditional foods, traditional Chinese food, traditional Vietnamese food. And this place, I don't think I've ever been before. What is this? International Food Court. Xin Chao Lo. I think the entrance is on the other side. But before we go there, I've actually been eyeing this place for a while now. Right here. Thanks, man. Oh, that looks beautiful. Thank you. Traditional Vietnamese steak and eggs. Ooh, yeah. Freshly toasted baguette. And just dunk it in. If you can, pick up a piece of meat with it, too. Amazing, amazing. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put the meat pate right on this thing. Break the second egg as well. Let that Yoki River run. If you never had this before, I implore you, please find a place that sells this or if you're around Houston, come here. Try this dish out. It will completely shatter your idea of steaks and eggs for breakfast. This place's steak is so incredibly tender. Slightly charred, seasoned perfectly. And at this point, the eggs have pretty much scrambled itself. So I'm just gonna mix that in with the, uh, with the meat pate. Again, pick up that bread. And just scoop it on. This is definitely one of my favorite Vietnamese dishes. And I love the fact that they serve this everywhere and at any time. It's not just breakfast. I remember going around at night and smelling just this delightful scent of fried eggs and meat. And just this whole outdoor setting, like pretty big. And all they serve is one dish. That's how incredible it is. And this place does exceptionally well. 
Mmm, ah, meat is so tender. And bread is the perfect vessel. You don't want a single drop of that sauce to be wasted. Soak it up, put it in your mouth. But get too, toasted perfection. I don't see this dish being sold a lot around the country. So this is a dish that whenever I run into it, I'm eating it. Also what I love about this, it's served on a hot plate, so. Sizzling hot till the last drop. Best part of waking up, I'm not folders in your cup, folding on your plate. Now let's go check out what that international food court is all about. I love food exploring days. This is this is Quan. Yeah. This is a, this is your whole family here cooking. Yeah, yeah, my, my family. Cook. So you teach your sons to cook. Yeah. <laughs> how, how young did they start? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I started when I was like 12. Yeah. <laughs> but they're, they're 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 doing exceptional jobs. Delicious. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So this place is uh, Pinoy fast food. I think this is a Filipino food court. This is definitely very Filipino. You gotta. And karaoke set right over there. That's a telltale sign right there. Uh, pasta Yahansa Mayo. Si Sig Barbecue. That's all I really need to see. I know I don't know how long this place has been here, but freshly cooked meals every day. Barbecue looks amazing. Haven't had my daily seasick yet, so why not? It's also this place. Noi fast food. Oh, this looks so good. Morning. Looks so good. I have no idea how to order here. Um, there's no menu. I think these just point to, I'm just gonna point to what I wanna eat, which is that, I remember this. I think this is the tomato beef dish that I had the other day. I love, love, love this. And this is what the other Filipino auntie got, so I think this is gonna be good. Okay, you want this one? This one? Else. What do you think? Uh, this one, you can try also this one. This one. Yeah? Yeah, both beef, beef calzaneta, beef mechado. Okay. Thank you. I remember you, you have YouTube, right? Yes. So you watch my show? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> I, mean, I always. Always. So well, thank yes. you. Thank you. I know that you went in Philippines. Yes, I go to Philippines a lot. Yeah, yes. I love the Jolly Bee. Yes. <laughs> I always watch you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is my seasick. This looks and smells fantastic. Only thing I wish that was on here was an egg. So after a delicious Vietnamese meal, I get a feast on some sisig and other awesome Filipino dishes. I feel like this time in Houston, I've been eating a lot of Filipino food. Oh. That is a delicious seasick. Oh my goodness, yummy pig parts. That's really good seasick. Caramelized onions, little bits of chilies. I definitely taste a year from the crunchy cartilage. There's some innards in here. Super nice gelatinousy parts of the pig as well. All the textures you want and expect in a seasick is here. So good, masterfully done. And the sauce that binds everything together. So amazingly flavorful. What a great find. Huh. This is how I like kind of see Houston food. And what sets it apart from like places like Dallas. I'm just talking about Asian food. Just the fact that here, you get so much more of these little mom and pop places. It's been cooking a certain recipe for a long, long time. And they do it so well. And these may not be like super highly hyped up places on, on, on Yelp or Google. Like just hole in the wall places like this. Absolutely masterful. I wanna try this. The tomato beef. Oh, this is a nice piece with tons of fat on top. And these are beef ribs right here. Mmm. Oh, that is all sorts of yum. This might be one of my favorite Filipino dishes from now on. Not just about the meat, which is great. The sauce, oh my gosh. So tomatoey, a little sweet, a little sour. Whenever it touches the rice, as Joey would say, forget about it. That's so good. The beef is not gonna be the most tender, but that flavor more than makes up for it. And this giant plate of meat 
eight dollars. That's one thing that made me fall in love with Filipino food. Intense flavors, heavy on the meat, very inexpensive. So the lesson for today is, whenever you're on your way to a food place and you walk by something that says International Food Court, stick your head inside. Maybe you'll find something good. Oh, it makes me miss the Philippines. Final piece of my meal is here, the barbecue. Oh, this thing looks wet. This thing looks like it just came from a saucy thunderstorm. Mm. That's delicious. I think it's covered in some sort of tamarack sauce. A little sour, slightly sweet. Yeah, this baby just came off the grill for sure. Beautiful char. You can taste the smokiness, slight bitterness from the char. And it is tender. A little fat, a little lean. It's an absolute flavor bomb. What a great little find. If you want to get yourself some authentic Filipino food, check this place out. Highly recommend the barbecue skewers. Highly recommend everything I had today. That was a good breakfast. It's about 12 o'clock right now, lunchtime. Is that not the craziest looking cloud? Truth be told, I went and took a nap. So now it's more like lunch slash dinner time. And I just heard about this festival going on, this night market going on. It's the Vietnamese night market. There's a couple of uh, Vietnamese night markets popping up around the country. One is here, one's in uh, Southern California. Look at this. This is the Otaku Food Festival. I think that's what this is called. So I guess it's more like an Asian night market. Yeah, Asian night market. At the Vietnamese Community Center. Well, let's see what's there to eat. Oh, fresh ribs. Green barbecue ribs. Hi, can I get a rib? Awesome, well, you're making me too healthy. Thank you, thank you. Now the problem with me is that you guys know I'm so absent-minded, I'm so forgetful. I forgot that when you come to a night market, you should bring cash. I have a total of, well I have $15, now I have $10, so I don't know how much more food I can actually get. <sighs> Maybe I can find someone to give me some cash and I'll just Venmo them. <laughs> like, would it be weird to go up to people and be like, hey, any cash? Can I have it? So lots of different food here. Well, this is a Korean barbecue rib. I am in Texas. Rib is something I'm always drawn to. Smoky. Those are really good ribs. Smoky and spicy. Super tender, but still retain a lot of great chew. Wow, to be able to serve something up like this at a night market. Good job to people at the Korean barbecue rib place. Seriously, really good ribs. All right, so this is from Japanese grilled food, the takoyaki. You guys know when I first saw takoyaki, this is not a joke. I mean, I'm from the Midwest, so I haven't seen a lot of diverse food until I moved to New York. And when I first saw a takoyaki, a okonomoyaki, that thing, and these bonito flakes were like, you know, dancing with the heat, I thought it was live squid. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. I'm like, what is this dancing creatures on top of this pancake? Whew. Oh, it is nice and toasty and hot. Giant piece of octopus in here. Hmm. Good stuff, by the way. So this is where I got the takoyaki. Ah, oh, she's making some right now. Good job, good takoyaki. Oh, yes. Good. There's Thai food, there's Khmer food. This is apparently the smaller version. I think they said in three weeks, this place, this thing's gonna double in size. Thank you so much. Oh, so no oh thank you. It's so nice, thank you. Cambodian beef skewers. Wow, I've only been walking around for like 30 minutes. Drenched in sweat, attacked by mosquitoes. And this is some brisket. I think it's uh, Cambodian brisket. Look at this. Look how cool this is. Look how delicious this looks, huh? Oh, delicious. Perfectly cooked. Especially dip it with uh, some of the spicy sour dipping sauce. I'm sweating. I've got like 
five bites from mosquitoes. Sweat's like dripping into my eye, but I am happy. This is so much fun. I'm so glad they put this on. Look at this, look how cute this is. A little, a little drinking, drink in a bag. It reminds me of uh, what they do in Thailand where they put all your drinks in a bag. Oh, so good. And I appreciate um, everyone's generosity. Like, people are just giving me food. <laughs> um, and I appreciate that. So I spent my $15, but I got way more than $15 worth of food. Everything's like five bucks. So it's great to come here, support some of these local small businesses. And food, haven't had a bad bite so far. Also, I love seeing like more Asian land markets popping up. And I'll definitely try to come back when they do the bigger version of this. Mm. Oh, I have to go set up for a live uh, streaming I'm doing tonight involving kimchi and apparently In-N-Out Burgers. Had a lot of fun here. Even though this wasn't the, the biggest version of this market, still being able to taste some amazing food while walking around outside. If we can't go to Asia, bring Asia to us. Gonna get some Taco Bell, some In-N-Out Burger for this uh, live stream kimchi event. Basically, it's, I'm just putting kimchi on random foods and see if they taste good. I'm thinking most of the time I will. Hi, could I get a Doritos Loco Taco? and a uh, quesadilla please thank you just finished with my kimchi live stream look how much kimchi i have left one two three four five six seven nine ten bags of kimchi left lucky i got some rice because i'll be eating kimchi for a while all right it's late i've been talking all day my thrill's killing me I haven't done a live stream in such a long time. It's pretty fun. Maybe we'll make that a regular thing. Anyway, as always, all the places I went to listed down below for you. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.